The Alliance for Child Protection and Humanitarian Action is a global interagency network that promotes the protection and well-being of children in humanitarian settings. It is a custodian of the minimum standards for child protection in humanitarian action. They set out principles, benchmarks, key actions and guidance to ensure quality and accountability in children's protection in humanitarian contexts. 85 agencies in over 80 countries helped to draft them. In this video, we will explore their contextualization, what it is, when it should be done, and why you might want to do it. Simply put, contextualization is a process of adapting global standards to the realities of how things work in your context. It should be led by interagency coordination groups and include a diverse range of local, national, and international actors. When facilitated well, it helps to build a strong community of child protection practitioners and policymakers with a common language and understanding of protection for all crisis affected children, as well as agreed steps to make that happen. While the wording of the standard itself doesn't change, the Global CPMS Working Group encourages you to revise the rest of the text. For example, you can choose together which indicators are important to your programs and set realistic targets for achieving them. You may want to specifically define your population of concern. These sorts of steps will increase the CPMS's relevance and accessibility. Over the years, coordination groups have taken different approaches based on their situation and capacity. Some groups use a feather touch approach because they've experienced a sudden onset crisis or foresee one developing within days. Here, four to eight child protection organizations meet, often over the phone or online, to rapidly discuss two or three standards which are essential in the new context. They review the preparedness measures and then agree on a few key actions from the prevention and response sections. They may also select an indicator to measure their work. A few years back, when the situation changed quickly, the child protection team in Palestine was a pioneer in this approach. Other coordination groups adopt a light touch to adapt three or four standards over a series of meetings. All members participate in a facilitated discussion covering all or part of a standard. One person would then be tasked with finalizing the text based upon those discussions. The revised text is then approved by the coordination group. The light touch approach is often chosen by development actors as a preparedness measure to complement any national action plan to end violence against children. Adapting community-level social-ecological approaches and mental health CPMS standard to our context in Bangladesh help us think through how we will adapt our programming. It was really useful to focus on refugee setting, but also all community realities through the conceptualization process. Finally, the multifaceted approach is used to organize a large-scale workshop with participants from different branches of child protection and other humanitarian sectors. Sometimes it is held at subnational and then national level. Some coordination groups tackle all 28 standards, while others a smaller number. This approach requires an interagency organizing group, as well as dedicated support to finalize the adapted text over several weeks. Rest assured, the contextualization process gets easier and faster the more you do it. We did our contextualization online through Zoom and it was quite challenging. We needed a lot of facilitation for the first standard in order to understand the process. But as we started with the second standard, we felt much more at ease and comfortable with the process. Whatever your approach, as far as possible, involve the government and seek their endorsement of the final document. If none of these options seem doable at the moment, or perhaps you have detailed standard operating procedures that already complement the CPMS, it's perfectly acceptable to use the global standards just as they are. However you approach it, using your contextualized standards is the goal. They can be used for capacity strengthening, MAD, development of the humanitarian or refugee response plan, or HNO, grant applications, and so on. For additional assistance with adapting the CPMS to your context, please refer to the contextualization tool in the CPMS implementation toolkit or to the more detailed how-to guide for contextualization. Feel free to contact us at the CPMS Working Group.